you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 29th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of child jesus a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 35 When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord and they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons now There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. He had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him, what was customary under the law simeon took him in his arms and praised god saying master now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light of revelation to the gentiles and for glory to your people israel and the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him then simeon blessed them and said to his mother mary this child is destined for the falling and the raising of many in israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends is your life in tune with the holy spirit simeon was a man who was just towards others and devoted towards god he gladly accepted the mission god called him to perform with much fervent prayer and with patience expectation his whole life was in tune with the holy spirit is was found daily in the temple in prayer and worship and in humble and faithful expectation for the day that the lord would comfort his people as the days and months grew into years he never lost hope when joseph and mary presented the child jesus in the temple simeon immediately recognized the lord's presence in his temple through eyes of faith he saw he said the infant jesus as the fulfillment of all the messianic prophecies hopes and prayers of people of israel inspired by the holy spirit he prophesied that jesus was to be a revealing light to the gentiles jesus came not only as a light and a salvation for the people of israel but for all nations as well jesus is a new temple in the old testament god manifested his presence in the a pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night as he led them through the wilderness god's glory visibly came to dwell over the ark and the tabernacle when the first temple was built in jerusalem god's glory came to rest there after the first temple was destroyed ezekiel saw god's glory leave it but god promised promised one day to fill it with even greater glory that promise is fulfilled when the king of glory himself comes to his temple malachi chapter 3 verse 1 through jesus coming in the flesh and through his same death resurrection and ascension we are made living temples of the holy spirit do you recognize that you are god's temple and that his spirit dwells within you Simon Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph and he promised prophesied to Mary about the destiny of this child 
and suffering she would undergo for his sake. There is a certain paradox for those blessed by the Lord. Mary was given the blessedness of being the mother of son of God. That blessedness also would become a sword which pierced her heart as her son died upon the cross. She received both a crown of joy and a cross of her sorrow. But her joy was not diminished by her sorrow because it was fueled by her faith, hope and trust in God and his promises. Jesus promised his disciples that no one will take your joy from you. The Lord gives us your supernatural joy which enables us to bear any sorrow or pain and which neither life nor death can take away. Do you know the joy of your life? Fully surrender to God with faith and trust. Let's pray. Lord, may I recognize your visitation and be prepared for your action today. Just as Simeon was prepared and ready to respond to your visitation and action in his day. Amen. May God bless us.